I'm Tom. I'm 11. My favourite subject at school is science, and I like to discover stuff. Eindhoven has a lot of smart people who are working on new technologies to solve global challenges, like climate change and how to deal with people who are getting older and older. In Eindhoven, big companies like ASML, NXP, VDL, TomTom, Intel and Shimano are working on these challenges. When you mention Eindhoven, one company in particular comes to mind, Philips. In the past few decades, Philips has made Eindhoven flourish. Their researchers invented countless consumer electronics, lighting and healthcare innovations that became international standards. It looks like innovation and entrepreneurship has been a part of Eindhoven for decades. There's a particular place that needs checking out. High-tech campus Eindhoven, the smartest square kilometer in Europe. Some say even the world. More than 180 high-tech companies are located here and work together in an ecosystem for open innovation. Multinationals, small medium enterprises, startups and institutes, they all work together on new technologies to stay ahead of the global challenges. I hear this concept of open innovation is unique in the world. Lately, I've been hearing a lot about startups. They're small, they take a lot of risk. It sounds interesting. Startup Accelerator, High Tech XL, already helped more than 80 startups to bring their innovations to the market and to scale up their business. The first startup TiVo shows me is Byflow. They're developing a 3D food printer that prints over 50 different ingredients. Up next is PlasmaCure, a startup that heals wounds using a smart pad. The PlasmaCure smart pad closes wounds by using a cold plasma. I hope one day I will be smart enough to have my own startup. It's cool to see so many nationalities and cultures in Eindhoven. Jean Bakelmans is next on my list. He's from Belgium. Hey, Tom, hey. how are you, man? Look what I'm doing. I'm playing this fantastic maze game and I'm controlling walking through the maze with the movement of my eyes. So these glasses are smart glasses and with these little sensors, they can actually detect where my eyes are looking at. And this is being used in a lot of cases around the world now. Um, people who have uh, disabilities, they can start moving things by the movement of their eyes. And when they blink, they can activate, just like when you click with a mouse. And it can measure your brain activity. It measures all the brain waves inside of that little beautiful head of yours. Once we know your brain activity, we can measure the quality of your health. We can measure how healthy you are. This actually replaces a whole amount of devices. So Tom, this was a story about our wearables today, but we're actually working on a brand new world where there is no more wearables. So you actually will not need this anymore. We're working on technology we call implantables or ingestibles. That's technology which is built inside of your body. For example, to measure the healing process of new capabilities inside of your body. That's very cool technology. There's one thing all high-tech companies desperately need, talent. 
And where better to grow talent than at school? Hi Tom, welcome uh, in our lab here at uh, Eindhoven University of Technology. Hi Professor Steinberg. Hi amigo. Hey Tom, this is my friend, the robot. So Tom, you would like to know what the next big thing is in, in technology. I think data is very important. The combination of software and hardware as we see in those robots is really relevant. The same exactly you see in, in driving and autonomous driving. I personally, I also believe that technology for healthcare will be huge, a huge development. Personalized healthcare, watches which are going to measure you. Uh, but also like the things we do here to develop surgical robots which make super surgeons uh, from our, our current surgeons. Um, those are a few of the things I see, uh, I see developing. The most important uh, thing I want to say to you Tom is that things are moving incredibly fast. It's going faster and faster and faster. And that makes this time frame an amazing time frame to live in and also to contribute from our uh, technology. So Tom, what makes the high-tech campus really different from other places in the world is first of all it's a true breeding ground of new ideas. New ideas based on both deep technological knowledge but also the breadth of the technology that we have here available. Many small and big companies reside here but what it makes it specifically unique in the world is a culture of true collaboration. Everybody works together here. And I think that is especially something that we have here and we, you find in no other place in the world today. In this world, we have big societal problems. And one is energy, you know about. We go to solar panels, healthcare, we're getting older, so we need to find solutions to help older people stay safe at home. A mobility, we need to find new ways of cars. For instance, a car that works on solar energy. In this region, we have knowledge and a culture of collaboration which can help not only ourselves but the whole world find solutions for these problems. And I think that is why we are so uniquely positioned in this region. electronics, wearable technology, robotics, 3D food printing, solar cars, healthcare. This journey through Eindhoven was mind-blowing, not to mention the amazing people I met. I can't wait to tell my friends all about it. And I will make you a promise. When I'm grown up, I will be a high-tech hero too. <laughs>